Hello and welcome back. Um, out walking again today, as you can see. Um, I'm in Kaleder Forest, just outside Castle Derg. It's actually quite close to home, um, although I came the roundabout way today because I had a few jobs and chores to do this morning. Uh, I'll say this morning, it's now one o'clock. <laughs> I'm not famous on this channel for getting up and out early, I know that's for sure. Uh, except maybe when my Jesus driving me out of my tent and on the road. But anyway, uh, today I'm in Kaleder Forest. Um, I was here about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, and did the, uh, I want to say Baladu Trail or Banadu Trail, I think it's Banadu, which is advertised on the sign at the start at a 10 kilometer walk. Uh, turned out to be 11 and a half. <laughs> uh, this one is the Mully Fa route, the blue route. Um, starts off at the same location and follows um, the same trail for about a kilometre and then when the, the red Banadu trail turns off to the right, the Mully Fa keeps going on left at that junction. Um, it's advertised at 12 kilometres, although I've seen the track of it on Outdoor Active last night and it's just over 11. Um, it's a funny kind of day today. Uh, it's hard to know what the weather's going to do. Um, it's quite warm, very, very humid. I'm absolutely roasted in this uh, just wee light um, fleecy jumper on me and a t-shirt, but I'm absolutely roasted. But at the same time, on the drive over in between these lovely spells of very warm sunshine, there have been really, really heavy downpour showers, almost kind of like thunder showers. So in my bag, I'm, I'm going very light today. Um, apart from, a, well, even with my GoPro, I only just have the camera and some spare batteries and one mount. And in my bag, I have a flask and a packed lunch. So no stove, no fancy stoves or the roaring of a stove in the video today. I'm going old school with a flask and a couple of sandwiches and a set of waterproofs because I really don't know how wet it's going to get at times and I don't fancy getting soaked. Uh, the reason for the walk today is I have big plans for the weekend. On Saturday night I'm going to head to the morns after work. going to sleep in the van overnight in the back of the van so I have all my uh, sleeping mat and sleeping bag and stuff like that ready. Have dinner go to bed fairly early and get up fairly early in the morning. So I have a route plotted out in the morns that is about 16 kilometers, but there's a lot of climbing on it. There's uh, over a thousand meters of climbing in total. And uh, one of those hills will be Sleeve Donard. So uh, Sleeve Donard, for those of you who don't know, is the highest mountain in Ulster, the province of Ulster. So it's one I have never been up before. I've never done any walking in the mornings before. So really looking forward to that. 
But on the flip side of that, I'm a wee bit nervous about my fitness. I haven't been doing much walking recently. The uh, Blue Stacks walk I did a few weeks ago was the longest and hardest walk I've done for a while. And that really took it out of me. So um, I've decided to do a good bit of walking this week as much as I can. So today's walk, 12 kilometers, could be a wee bit of a leg stretcher, see what they're like. And um, I've done a couple of shorter walks in the last few days as well. I've done a couple of 6K walks as well, just around home. Um, one up in the forest and uh, one just on the local roads around home. So hopefully this uh, burst of walking activity will get the legs and the feet in good shape for, uh, for Sunday for tackling um, a few peaks in the morning. Like there's five or six altogether, including um, Sleeve Donard. So looking forward to that, but something a wee bit different. And the weather forecast is giving a cracker as well. Nice and dry, not too much wind and uh, reasonable temperatures as well. So should be a great day. On my feet today, I have my really old Mindel walking boots. The, looking at the terrain for Sunday, it seems to be fairly dry and uh, the Mindel boots are a bit lighter. Um, they're really robust, even with their advancing years, they're still really, really robust. Um, very, very comfortable. So I haven't worn them in a long time, so I've decided to bring them out with me today, get my feet used to them again, just make sure that everything is okay with them. I think. Uh, Halfway up a hill in the morning's about the wrong time to find out if there's a problem with the sole in the boots or something like that. So I have those on me today and uh, I have to say they're very comfortable still. Uh, it's like putting on an old pair of slippers again, so <laughs> I'm enjoying wearing these. So um, if I get good dry ground underfoot on Sunday and good dry weather, there's no reason why these shouldn't be perfect boots for that. So test them out today, make sure they're fine. Anyway, uh, enough talking for now. <laughs> I'm blaring at the camera as usual. I'm uh, going to get on and enjoy the rest of this walk.
Well, that was fun. <laughs> um, in fairness, I got plenty of warning. Um, there was a few rumbles of thunder. Um, about four or five minutes before that really heavy shower come on. So it uh, gave me time to get my coat back on again and uh, also put my cover on my bag. Um, I didn't bother putting on the waterproof trousers. The rain was definitely heavy enough for it. But to be honest, it's, it's such a warm day that the thought of walking in awkward and heavy waterproof trousers just didn't light a candle for me. So I decided to push on. Um, my legs are absolutely soaked, of course. But sure, listen, my waterproof trousers are dry in my bag because I've got the cover on it. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you can see now, I'm uh, on the tired road, but I have about three kilometres left to walk now. I've done a kilometre on the road already, and then I have about another three to walk on the road until I get back to where I've parked the van. Um, biggest problem I have is that I haven't stopped for lunch, or, well, I had a big breakfast this morning, quite late on, so um, it's very late for lunch, um, but uh, I didn't stop for something to eat, and I'm absolutely starving now. But to be honest, I'm probably going to push on until I get back to the van because the rain hasn't let up at all and I don't really fancy standing along the side of this road somewhere. Unless I find somewhere particularly nice. don't really fancy standing along the side of this road and uh, eating my sandwiches and drinking my tea um, in the rain on top of all of that. Can't really make my mind up about this walk. I'd say it's pretty average. Um, the other route that I spoke about, the, uh, can't remember the name of it again, I think it's Banadu, um, walk is much better. The There's more of it in the forest and uh, the road bits that it follows are much more interesting and uh, scenic to walk along. This particular route goes through, once it leaves the forest after about 3k, um, it's very much into open kind of farmland areas and you're walking along farm tracks. Uh, or access tracks onto the, the mountain or the hillside for the sheep farmers and a lot of the sites are off farmland as well so while it's very very nice um, and I would say it was a nice walk it's uh, it's not really the walk that I, that I thought it was going to be um, and definitely not as good as the other walk but still worth doing uh, and I have enjoyed it the one thing I did get from the walk that is, although it's a Waymark walk and it's actually part of the International Appalachian Trail as well as the uh, the Clyder Forest Waymark walks, is that you get the impression that walkers are tolerated rather than welcomed. Um, the track's very much contained by wire fences, obviously to keep the sheep from straying onto the track, but you just get the impression it's a stay off my land kind of uh, approach as well. Um, which while it didn't spoil the walk, it just kind of had that atmosphere hanging over it the whole time, I thought. Um, compared to the likes of, say, the, the Blue Stacks and even the Sperrins, where I have walked recently as well. Um, the land's much more open and uh, although walkers are very much still only tolerated there, it's um, not to the same extent as this was. But then again, this is much more developed farmland than those two areas. So that's probably all the talking done for me anyway. So uh, if you have made it this far, thanks for following along and thanks for coming along with me today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just like I said in my last video, it'd be good to get up to the 100 subscribers. So uh, if you could hit that subscribe button, it'd be much appreciated. But anyway, until next time, I'll see you later.